people worried because if they decide that they're going to change the tax policy and have the largest tax increases in American history, it will mean in my district 2,000 jobs lost. We were told, remember, that trillion dollar stimulus, trust us, we're going to increase jobs, we're going to create 2 million, no 3 million, no 4 million. How many jobs did they lose? Millions and millions of jobs. And so what are we debating today? Extending unemployment. I would prefer to be here today to talk about where do we find more people to fill the jobs. And wages are going up so high because prosperity is so high. This is Americans for Prosperity that are hosting this rally today because we are Americans for Prosperity. disciple and promoter of free market yes. enterprise yes. in this country. Yes. That's what this nation was founded upon, right. upon free enterprise, not about a grand, ever-growing bureaucracy. That's what we've seen with Obamacare. Just yes. this weekend it was reported that such an abject failure is this government takeover of health care that fully 111 waivers have been issued. What does this mean? This is an admission of failure by the White House. They may not be admitting it, but their actions are admitting it. Why? Because we see universities and unions and favored companies are getting waivers. What's a waiver? It's an exemption. Why do they need the exemption? Obamacare is a cost-driving hiker. It's a failure. We were told we had to pass Obamacare. We couldn't wait. We couldn't even read the bill. We couldn't take the time to even debate it. Because why? President Obama promised us. He promised that it would drive down the cost of health care. He promised. He promised. I stood there on the floor chamber. Many of you were outside here demonstrating against this bill. On Sunday, March 21st, when this bill was passed, I stood on the floor. The final speeches had the Speaker of the House and other Democrat members, former colleagues, say, say, to, the, say to the American people, say to the American people that we would save $1.3 trillion if we passed Obamacare. Okay, let's see. Let's let's see where we at now. They said that we would say we would uh, increase jobs, not lose jobs, if we pass the stimulus. Did that work? No. Strike one. They said that we would save money, not lose money, not see our premiums increase if we passed Obamacare. Did that work? No. Strike two. Then they said, after all of that that the economy would go on a certain footing if we had quantitative easing, if the Federal Reserve was printing money, and now they're telling us with quantitative, quantitative easing too that we will print an additional $600 billion, flood the money supply, and that's going to lower inflation, and that's going to lower interest rates. Okay, can I sell anybody a bridge in Brooklyn? Strike three, they're out. That's what we're going to tell them. I want to thank you for what you've done, but also I want to inspire you. Inspire you that America's days aren't over. We've already seen the first steps on taking our country back. We're going to keep the pedal to the metal, so to speak, not only in this lame duck session, because we cannot afford to have any more out of control spending, we cannot afford to have the out of control tax increases, but this is the first step on the down payment of taking our country back in 2012. I, I fully agree with the Democratic pundits and pollsters that are out there that are calling on President Obama to not run for a second term. Because I believe we've just witnessed a referendum, even though President Obama de 
denied it in his 60 Minutes interviews. He said, oh, this election had nothing to do with my policies. I think the American people felt quite differently. Let's not have this any longer be about politics. Let's not have this be about personalities. Let this be now about the people of this country that's right. Getting back to work because the final P that we need to focus on is prosperity. Yeah. Prosperity. Because if we can get our country turned and focused, not on Washington, take the mirrors off of Washington and instead turn around and look out at the greatest country that has ever been constituted in 5,000 years of recorded human history. Look at our people. Look at our greatness for the, for, the, for the very fact of revering those who have gone before us, who sacrificed and bled and died and secured this liberty for us, for them, for their memory so that we don't desecrate their memory. Let's go back on a sound financial footing and do what we know in our hearts is true in putting our country back in order. And yet for those who are in generations yet born, unborn, for them, let's put this nation's house on a financial footing. Let's do this right today. I want to thank all of you who are here today. I want to thank Americans for Prosperity. This really is a new and glorious day. The sun is rising. The sun is not setting. And to a rising sun, we will continue to aspire moving forward. Thank you today. Michelle.